you ready? Are you ready to start the vlog? Are you ready? Are you in good in place in your spot? Are you in your spot? I think she's ready to start the vlog. Or the vlog, 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 I do both of them. When you say hi to everybody. You're such a pretty girl, huh? My favorite spot to kiss her is this spot on the bridge of her nose. It's this pink spot. Yep, it's my favorite spot. She likes that. Hi, baby. I love you. I think she really hears me. Look at her, she just stares. Such a good dog. Have I told you all that before? Okay, can I start the vlog? I would say that people didn't come here to see you, but everybody loves Winnie. Huh. Yeah. Love you. Thank you. Yes, best dog ever. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Yes, it's vlog time. It's 2022, a new year ahead of us, which I am so thankful for, I am so ready for. I am so glad that 2021 is done, it is behind me, or I am putting it behind me. And the girls and I, we're moving forward. My hand is kind of shaky, sorry. Yeah, we are, the girls and I, we are full steam ahead, moving forward. <clears throat> last year, gosh, how would I define last year? It was a challenge. There were definitely rough times. I would say that there was a lot of realizations and coming to grips with things and new normals. And that was hard. And I would say that it wasn't so hard until the holidays started. And really the holidays weren't all that bad or as hard as I thought that they were gonna be. I was super nervous going into the holiday season because I just didn't know what they were gonna look like for us. Because of Ray's job, I knew that, or I thought in my head, that it was just gonna be Kayla, Allie, and I. And um, that made me nervous because I felt like just with all the changes, having it be just the three of us, I was really worried about the impact that was gonna have on Allison. And how was I going to pull off making it feel like a Merry Christmas or a Happy Thanksgiving? And I didn't know that I had it in me to do that, but I knew I had to, if that makes any sense at all. I would say that this is the first year that I didn't feel overly festive when it came to decorating the house. But again, I knew I had to because of Allie. And I think because of me, I think that it helped me too. Um, I just didn't have the energy to do it, but I did get the Christmas lights up outside. That was the first time I had ever done that. And that was a challenge, but it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and I put the Christmas village up and I did get one tree up because I do have two, but I did do just the one flocked tree and I did my hearth and my mantle on my fireplace and put stockings up. And that was really it. I didn't go above and beyond this year and pull down all the decorations. Thanksgiving turned out amazing. Ray had planned a Thanksgiving the Sunday before Thanksgiving. And so that was when we celebrated it. And there was quite a few of us at his house. We all cooked dinner and kind of did a potluck and it was an amazing day. So Thanksgiving was a success. Then I was a bit worried about Christmas um, because again, um, Ray hadn't told me that he had had plans on taking a vacation. And so again, I was fearful that it was just gonna be Kayla and I. Past years because of Jeff's job, um, we were always at the fire station or we always did it on a different day other than Christmas. So Christmas day never really felt like Christmas to us. 
And so this year, because I'm not with Jeff, there is no fire station, I thought to myself, self, why not make Christmas day Christmas day? Why not do it and start a new normal? And that was definitely what this year was full of, was taking some of our traditions that I've always done with my mom, incorporating those into the season, and definitely incorporating new uh, traditions and making new normals. And so, for instance, this year for Christmas, we did not cook a turkey and a ham. We all sat down and decided that the new Christmas dinner was going to be that of prime rib. And so, um, that's not something that I had ever done before. And we were all in agreement that that would be our new Christmas dinner. And that made it feel like a new beginning. It wasn't taking some old tradition or an old meal that we had always done together and feeling like, um, I guess, an aspect or an element was missing. And that's what I was afraid of with Allison. Oh, Winnie's really getting comfortable, sorry. And that's what I was really worried about with Allison was that she was going to feel like dad was missing. And I wasn't sure that that's how she was gonna feel, but I was worried about it. And um, so we ended up having a beautiful Christmas. We did a Christmas dinner at six o'clock. Ray had taken a vacation for two weeks, so he made sure he was off on Christmas day for us. And um, gosh, my son is amazing. I didn't even ask him to do it and he did it because he was just thinking of how Allie, Kayla and I were gonna feel. And I tell you, I couldn't ask for better kids. And so yeah, that was amazing. We ended up having Jason, his girlfriend, Evelyn, her daughter, Maya. Now Jason is what I call my adopted son, Ray's best friend forever. And so his family came, Jason's mom and dad came and I loved that. And then Ray was home, Kayla was here, Preston, her boyfriend, Allie. And so it was a full house. And that was just what I think we all needed to move on with our lives, move on with the holidays. And it definitely didn't feel like a quiet one. It didn't feel like a lonely one. It didn't feel like something was missing. And so, yeah it turned out amazing. And so there was, like I said, that nervous part of me. And so I'm glad that it didn't turn out the way I was nervous it would turn out. Leading up to 2022, I really wanted to make sure that everything was tied up and done as far as the divorce was concerned. I didn't want to come into 2022 having loose ends. And so with that being said, um, yeah, my divorce is completely final. Jeff and I are completely done. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, I am still single and I'm staying that way. I know some of you were worried about me moving on too quickly and that was never my intent right now. I'm happy being me. I'm happy figuring out our life and where it's gonna end up and what we're gonna do. Um, and, and, and I think that's the healthiest thing to do. I'm focusing on work, I'm focusing on the girls, and I'm really focusing on what's next for us in life. You know, um, I know so many of you have seen that I have been traveling and I will tell you that is something that I absolutely loved to do before I married Jeff. And it was something that I never did again after I married him. And I started realizing um, in November, I went to Vegas for four days and that was the first time that I had ever been away from Allison overnight. And um, Allie was with Ray, Kayla, and Jason, so she was well taken care of. And thank goodness for FaceTime because we got a lot of FaceTime in until she got comfortable or used to the fact that she was fine and I wasn't going anywhere. I was coming home and I was just having mommy time with her friends, with my friends. And I got to see three amazing concerts with some really good friends. And, um, as I was driving to and from Vegas, it's about four hours from where I live. That was eight hours of alone time. 
And in that eight hours, you know, I, I think just by nature when you're driving and you've got this long, boring, dirt, mountain, desert drive ahead of you, you, you tend to think and reflect. And that was what I did. I did a lot of reflecting and I started to realize that I was in a rut when I was married to Jeff. And I wouldn't say it was that way the whole 17 years, but I would say that a good chunk of it near the end I was. I was merely existing in this house, in this marriage. Jeff and I didn't do anything together. It had come to the point where we weren't even going camping anymore. And um, because we had an RV, we didn't go out to dinners. He didn't really invite me to work barbecues. And, and I think that, you know, when I look at it now, those were red flags and I should have realized what was going on, but maybe I was oblivious or in denial about it. Um, but all I did was live inside this house and work and that was it. And because of the work that I do, I do spend a lot more time in my house than most do because my office is here, my filming is here, the kids are here, Allie's in school here. And so um, I started to realize that I was in this rut and now I am starting to live again. And how good does it feel to live, to live for me and nobody else? You know, other than my kids, of course, but I mean for a companion or someone that you're married to, that you're unhappily married to that you give so much of your life to and you're not getting anything back in return. Um, and I started to realize that I was happy and I realized I was happy on my way back from Vegas as I was driving and I just thought to myself like, wow, what an amazing four days I just had. I had fun, I laughed, I enjoyed myself, I enjoyed my company um, and it was amazing. I will tell you, I went to Vegas with the guy that I had posted a picture of on Facebook. His name is Jay. I met him on Match.com. And we thought that we were a match. It ended up that we were not romantically matched at all and that we were a perfect friendship match. And so we have become really great friends over the last, I wanna say six, seven months now. And he now has got an amazing, amazing girlfriend named Julie, who I've connected with that I adore. We get along really well. And so the three of us went to Vegas. I was the third wheel, but I didn't feel like it. It was just really fun. I just started to realize again on my way home from Vegas that I was living again and how good that felt to have friends and to make new friends. And that really was my intention when I went on to match and I got just that two amazing new friends. And um, I love traveling to Utah to go see Linda and my extended family. So that is definitely here in the future gonna happen again. I'm taking Kayla uh, with me in February. Now I will tell you that, and I know I don't have to, but I, I do want to clarify it, that when I do travel to Utah and other places, I don't typically show Allison in the pictures or any of the footage, but Allison travels every, everywhere with me. She doesn't stay home because she is doing distance learning. We can take that computer and her books with us and she goes everywhere with me. And that may not be for some, but for me, I think it's great because it's building a bond between her and I, and she gets to travel. And what kid at the age of 11 wouldn't love to travel? And she loves it. And she is so focused and driven when it comes to school that um, she does fine. We just really make sure and we set time aside for her to do her work and to be on her Zooms. And she's doing great. She is thriving in school. And at the end of the day, Allie is coming out of this. Does she have emotional time still? She does. But 
I'm gonna say that those emotional times I am All I can do is just be there for her and try to keep life consistent. And it's when life isn't consistent on somebody's end um, that it causes Allie to get upset. And, you know, there's only so much of that that I can control and um, without causing waves. And so for now, we just got to try and keep her emotionally happy, emotionally stable, and she's doing better. And she is facing everything head on. And I am so proud of her. She is resilient. She is coming through this. And she's just my little champ. And I couldn't be prouder of her. I couldn't be prouder of Kayla, Ray, and Jason. Um, I will tell you that my adopted son, Jason, has a baby on the way with his girlfriend Evelyn and his stepdaughter Maya is going to have a baby. And so I'm not saying the gender yet, but I am so stinking excited that there is going to be just a sweetness that is entering this world, a blessing. And I just can't wait to see Jason in this new chapter of his life. I'm going to say, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm actually going to say it, but I'm going to be a grandma of sorts, which is, wow, that season of my life. Leave it to Jason to be the first one to do this, but he's the one that is really in this serious relationship, and he is the oldest of all the kids, and so I am so happy for him and Evelyn, and so, you know, now it's just a matter of keeping Evelyn healthy and or getting her rest so she can nurture that baby in the oven. And yeah, that that is what's in store for 2022. I know so many of you ask me if I'm gonna move to Utah because I love it there so much. I don't know yet. You know, I, I want to, I would love to, but I have ties here that I don't know that I'm ready to walk away from. Um, family is everything to me. My kids are everything. And now I'm going to be a grandma of sorts. And um, so right now I feel like just holding on to family is what I need to do. Focusing on Allison, focusing on work and growing my empire, uh, continuing on with my blog that will be starting next Friday again. I took a month off for the holidays. Uh, writing a blog, just so you know, it takes me about seven hours to write each blog that I post on Fridays. And so I just hadn't had the time and I have to be, I think, in an emotional place. I have to be in a place within me that allows me to go to that vulnerable place when I write so openly and I'm so transparent. And sometimes it's hard to go there. And the holidays, it was hard. And so I was doing everything I could to keep it together as it was. And so but, but I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling strong, and um, I'm ready. I'm ready to take the bull by the horns. I'm ready to go forward with life. And I am excited for 2022 and what it has to offer. Um, I'm going to another concert here in February. I can't wait. I'm gonna go see Kane Brown. I just love his music. And so yeah, Jay and Julie and I are gonna go to Vegas again and see Kane Brown. and. That is something that I've realized I really love doing is going to Vegas and seeing the shows. I mean, Vegas really isn't that far from me. It's close enough that if I need to get home, I can. It's not a plane flight away. It's just a four hour drive. And so, yeah, that's something I enjoy doing. And so that's what I'm gonna keep doing. It's fun. And um, with that, boy, it's early this morning. I will tell you, I think it's like 6.40. And um, we are going to the place that I absolutely love to go in the winter time. Kayla, Allie, and Preston and I are gonna go hit up the mountain this morning. There is fresh powder on our local mountains. And so we are all gonna go snowboarding, my passion. It's something that I've done for years and years. Taught my kids how to snowboard. And so today I'm gonna go snowboarding and I'm gonna insert some pictures because this isn't gonna get posted until after we get back. It's like, hey, let's fake being on the mountain. <laughs> so we are up here at the mountain. We were gonna board and Allison's brand new bindings 
broke at the top of the mountain. So Preston is riding her down the mountain with her one foot one unclipped. Binding. Yeah, one foot's in, one foot's out. And uh, the shop is closed down, so we can't buy new bindings. The rental shop said they don't have parts for us to buy. And to make it even better, the power went out and everybody was stuck on the chairlift. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm a person who believes in signs and I feel like a lot of hurdles are happening right now so we should not stay up on the mountain. Even if I wanted to, I can't because Allie doesn't have bindings. So I guess we could go into town and buy some bindings. But by the time we do that, it's gonna be 12 o'clock, get back up on the mountain, the parking lot's almost full. So we are gonna call it a day. Oh, let's see, is that Preston? Yeah, okay. The chairlift's going now, but they said that the power's been going in and out all morning. Which kind of stinks, because I really wanted to board today. I got one run in. Poor Preston did not get a run in. Yeah, he took the task of holding Allie in front of him and riding down, and it's already been like a half an hour. Uh, oh, there they are. I see Allie, her pink jacket right there. She's sitting. Yeah, they're walking. Poor Allison, poor Preston. <laughs> oh, he's, he took one for the team. Oh man. Right. That was a real workout. <laughs> so, we've got bad news and worse news. What happened? So, there's no way to fix her bindings here. Okay. The only way I can do it is if I buy or rent her board for a hundred bucks, not gonna do that. And just so you know, the power's been going in and out all day, all, all morning. So I'm gonna call it a day with you. I will say that for those of you who have been supporting my blog and supporting my channel, I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Um, I feel it. I genuinely, I know people say that, but I want you to know that I feel it. The support gives me the strength sometimes when I'm feeling weak. I read a certain comment and I think to myself, I'm doing this. I am doing this, I'm getting through this and the light is at the end of the tunnel for me. The blind sides aren't happening anymore. I think they're all just kind of done. Like I said, the divorce, everything is tied up. It is final, I am done. And so, um, yeah, life is good and I am excited and for those of you who are going through this, all I can say is to stay strong, get up, do what you need to do and keep moving forward and try to stay as positive as you can. Let go of the things that you can't control because that is something I learned is, boy, did I hold on to things this year because I just, I am a person, believe it or not, I don't like people to think badly of me, especially when I try so hard to be a good person. And at the end of the day, when somebody is misjudging me, no matter who it is, it bothers me to a degree. I know it shouldn't, and I know I need to let it go, and I need to let it roll off my back. And sometimes you hold on to those things just a bit too long, or you hold on to them when you don't need to hold on to them. And that was something this year that I learned that I needed to do was I needed to let go of the things that I couldn't control. And that was what I did. You know, I let go of the thing that was really, that had a grip on me and just realized that it happened. What happened happened and there's nothing I can do about it. I did what I was supposed to do in the marriage. Now, I can't control what Jeff does. I can't control what his intentions are, but at the end of the day, I can control how I feel and I am choosing to let it go because it is negative, heavy weight that I don't need to hold on to. And that was, a, that was hard, but I've done it. I'm doing it now and I'm moving on with my girls and setting an example to them is everything to me. And so, you know, this is a season of life that I don't wanna see my kids go through. Um, chances are they may go through it. I don't want to wish it upon them or even say that it will, but we've all been there. Who hasn't? And I want to be the one that sets the example of how to handle it gracefully. And I think that I've done that. Have there been hiccups in the road? Totally have been. Have I made mistakes? I totally have. 
but I've learned from them and I'm a better me because of it. And so with that, I am excited for the positive new year, 2022, what it has to offer and this new path, this new chapter of life that I'm in. And I'm excited for it. I really am. This is a genuine positive excitement because like I said, the light is at the end of the tunnel. I am out from under that gray cloud and life is good. I have a lot to be thankful for and boy oh boy am I thankful for it. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. I almost said vlog again. Until next time everybody, I hope you stay happy, you stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all stay positive because I am and happy 2022 to you all. Bye for now.